What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner ukulele tutorial for Two Moons by Boy With Uke. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what other songs by Boy With Uke that you want to learn on ukulele. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Two Moons on ukulele is that in order to keep the song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to second fret. If you don't have a capo, I'll link it this capo for free right up here. The next thing that you want to know to play Two Moons on ukulele is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse, then go to chorus then verse and chorus again, and we'll finish up the song with one last verse and then one last chorus. And the last thing that you wanna know before we dive into two moons is the four chords that you need to play this song. The first one is E minor. The next one is G. The next one is D. And the last one is A minor. And I'll have chord charts for all of those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Two Moons. Guys, Two Moons is a song that I've just started hearing a lot on TikTok very recently. And I just got in from surfing earlier, and I'm in a very ukulele kind of mood. So I thought it'd be a fun one for us to learn today. So with that in mind, for Two Moons, we actually are only going to have one chord progression that's going to repeat through the whole entire song. That chord progression is going to be E minor, G, D, and A minor repeated through the whole entire song, start to finish. And then we're just gonna have two different strum patterns. One strum pattern that we'll use for our verses, and then one strum pattern that we're gonna be using for our choruses. First, let's take a look at the strum pattern we're gonna be using for our verses. For our verses, we're gonna have four up strums for each chord. So using our E minor as an example, it'll kind of look like this. We're gonna go up, 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 up about like that for each chord. So a little walkthrough of our progression with that verse strum pattern will look about like this. We'll go up, 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 up. Just about like that, repeated through all of our verses. Pretty straightforward here, guys. Nothing too crazy. It does feel a little weird because it's just up strums. There's no down strums to kind of balance it out. So it feels a little funny if you've never kind of done a more up strum based strum pattern like that, but it's nothing too terribly crazy. Most beginners should be able to get this down no problem. The other strum pattern we're gonna be using for this song is what we're playing for our choruses. We're gonna be, again, using the same exact chord progression there, E minor, G, D, A minor, repeated through our choruses as well, entire song. But what we're gonna be doing for our strum pattern for our choruses is this. We're gonna strum down, down, up, down, up, down, up, twice for each one of those chords, but quite a bit quicker than that. So it'll look more like this. We'll go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up just about like that for each chord. So again, walking through our whole chord progression with that chorus strum pattern will look about like this. Starting with our E minor, we go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Just about like that repeated through all of our choruses. Now again, that one is a little quicker of a strum pattern, but if anything, it's actually, it kind of feels a little easier than the other strum pattern just because it's a little bit more of a kind of normal strum pattern that you would use on uke. But yeah, nothing crazy here, guys. Just one chord progression and a couple of strum patterns to go along with it. So because we only have one chord progression that's gonna repeat through the whole song and then just two strum patterns to go along with it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through the chord progression about four times with the verse strum pattern, and then I'm gonna switch over to the chorus strum pattern for about another four times after that without me talking for a little playthrough. So with all that in mind, guys, the chord progression we're gonna be repeating throughout all of two moons with the two strum patterns we'll be using for our verse and our chorus will look about like this without me talking.
And guys, that is everything you need to know to play Two Moons on ukulele. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 890 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see what I'm up to in between videos, you can hit up my Instagram at the Groovy Guitar Dude. And lastly, guys, if you need any extra help with this song or any other aspect of beginner ukulele, you can hit up this link right up here to book a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. Guys, Two Moons is a new song that's getting a lot of popularity on TikTok right now, which is where I found this song, watching TikTok videos, and I really dig it. It's really cool. I actually have been really wanting to play more uke lately, and I actually just got in from a surf right before filming this, so I was like, perfect time to teach a ukulele song. But this is a great song, it's a lot of fun, and it's pretty beginner friendly as well. We just have that one chord progression that repeats through the whole song, and then those two strum patterns, one for the verse, one for the choruses, both pretty beginner friendly as well. So this is a fun one, and it's a great one for beginners to learn. So I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.